think we're back now. Yeah, I think we're back now. Um, disconnect issues. I think we're fine now. <clears throat> um, I read that line. So, so terrified, they're losing their faith. He has his reasons. Only I do not see these reasons. I already spoken to the subdom Inquisitor Ivia. Don't worry so much. This blade serves to judge heretics. It has no other function. This topic does not fall within your jurisdiction. We are the swords of the church, you don't have to tell me that. But I do not know if his holiness targets. Huh? But I do not know his holiness targets. Where do I strike? A sword does not see. It must be guided by a steady hand, then it can find its targets. Are these guys literally the judges from Final Fantasy twelve? Is this what's, is that what's happening here? I feel that's what's happening here. His holiness knows what he's doing. Inquisitor Wyatt. He is waiting. Come. We will talk in our time. Yeah, these guys are literally the, the judges from Final Fantasy XII. Okay, why is the Pope Vivi? Vivi, did you become the Pope? Why did you come... Why, how did you become the Pope? What? <laughs> I'm confused. Maybe we keep the poop. Okay, sure. Whatever. Um, what voice did I give her? Look at that! Raphael, why are you back? There were complications. I had to... Yes, yes, yes. I've heard about it. A demon or something. Have you forgotten your orders? You're the most reliable sword I have at hand, and therefore it hurts me all the more to return so early. Forgive me, your holiness. I'll leave for Vlandis immediately. Is in good hands with me. Under my supervision, the church will be able to expand even further. Why Vlandis, if I may ask your holiness? Vlandis is a swamp of the wicked. As you know, war has been raging there for years. So I will show the pagans the true way. Let Raphael see to it that we gain a foothold there. Marcus now receives you. Ah, oh, great. You free. Come along with me. You sound so dumb. There we have another reason for our red numbers. His Holiness himself. What's your tongue? Unlike you, you have a reputation to keep. You cannot believe in the bad business on him alone. I can't. The church division is squandering money all over the place. Soldiers, churches, priests, orphanages. And do you know how many countries still pe people still pay taxes? Almost nowhere. And I hear that you've had to close several locations. Where does the money you save go? Probably running away from you. You make it easy for yourselves. You may not make a direct profit, but the success of your department is based off on our based on our work. We're on to civilize the barbarians. We turn monkeys into men so that they're able to sit be able to use your tools and throw money into your purposes. Throughout the church you are nothing. Hear here, well spoken. Enough Stop it altogether. His Holiness certainly has good reasons to close some of his locations. I trust him. He is the foundation of our faith. I tolerate no disrespect. F forgive me, my lord. But it is time for results. I read from the report from Blandus. Inquisitor Raphael, I trust you will be returning shortly. I will do so tonight, my lord. Normally no beast would scare me away, but this red-eyed demon was in a league of its own. Red-eyed, you say? My lord. Please come closer. The rest of you, leave the room, my lord. Closer. Kneel down. Exclamation point. Impossible, my lord. You actually met her there, did you not? What do you mean, my lord? The Holy Mother. She is in Blandus. Can that be? Can this fate bring them together? I do not quite understand. From now on, you are under my direct command. But my faith binds me to his holiness. And it will stay that way. Raphael, listen to me. 
The original remains basically unchanged. But beyond that, you have two things to do for me. First, somewhere in Vlandis lies the grave of Lady Rena. You must find it. The grave of Lady Rena? But even more importantly is that you bring me bring the Holy Mother to me. She has returned. You met her at the banquet. Her name is Princess Celestia Valkyria of Taran. Bring her to me, Raphael. She is the foundation of our faith and our company. A very long time ago, when Eldrea was still divided into thousands of kingdoms and wars raged in every corner, an abyssal evil appeared. It is said that it was created out of the suffering, despair, and hatred of mankind. Within seven days? Of course it's seven days! What else would it be? It plunged the world into the sea of flames, inexorably extinguishing life almost everywhere. No weapons existed that could destroy it. Eldrea seemed lost. However, the power of one god and under the guidance of the Holy Mother, evil could be sealed. Until the day it sleeps in its cage, waiting for its chance. The arrival of the Holy Mother is a sign. The time for the final battle draws near. Uh, the final battle? This is only the third episode. I feel it's not. Raphael, we set at the crossroads of destiny. It is the task that we might follow the light in the right path. You are responsible for the future of this world. Oh boy. Well, that was a that was a lower drop. That was a lower drop and a half. Deal sweetness and an additional zero point. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll have that. I noticed that agility doesn't really do much. I mean, it's extra damage, but. Oh, right, okay.
Alright, maybe now we can go to the camp? Yeah, I'm gonna try and go to the camp now, see what happens. Doggles just yet. So I don't worry about that. Nope. Still can't. Okay. I like how we're getting bad luck charms. Should I be worried that we're getting bad luck charms? I feel like we should I feel like we should be worried that we're getting those. It's fine, right? Right? I don't believe well Is it like don't believe in luck? I actually kind of do, but I like, also kind of don't. My my uh my theories on luck are kind of weird. And unusual in that I'm a fan of like probability I think that probability is like really interesting like the concept of it like I love the concept of the fact that it is possible to like win the lottery twice in a row it's hard to do but it is technically possible to do it um kind of thing Maybe I'm just weird, but I also don't believe in luck. Like I'm like the type of person that in D and D, for example, I would not like. Like I would take my nat ones. Like I'd be like, ah, it's fine. It's whatever. I whatever I roll, I roll kind of thing. So maybe I'm just weird. Maybe, maybe I'm just unusual. Does this see damage? Oh, it does. Nice.
Yeah, no, I think I think I'll take that as the earth resistance. Oh god, this place is uh, pretty big. Just for that, there's better be something else in there. here. Yeah, I feel that's more handy than arm break, but I mean... Uh, let's go this way first. Okay, fine. Hey, it's a boss we've already fought. <laughs>
Okay, so the HP shield is probably like the HP regen shield is probably not that handy actually. Now that I think on it, probably not handy. Oh god, this looks confusing. Dot com. Let's run away. <laughs> Let's run away bravely. I just actually make sure you and your own Sienna. I've only dangerous my tongue. That doesn't seem to have quite worked out so far. <laughs> Let's call it a run of bad luck. <laughs> Indeed. Granted, and Cortara is often magical, but he's helped me. As often, he knows magic. Hmm. Will we be seeing him again? We haven't seen him in a bit. Wise and gold, sure. Swing. That's really good. <laughs> That's actually really good. To be able to do that on all enemies is really good, and it does damage as well. That's a really good ability. Kind of not as useful like on one party member, but or one enemy, like a boss, but still pretty, pretty handy. Okay, so that's the way to go. So maybe I shouldn't go this way. I should explore. I feel. Although, it doesn't look like you can go up from there, so maybe you have to, like... Let's go this way. I'm actually not going the way I should go, because... But the thing I've learned about this game is that's the dragon. Um, yeah, about the whole um, about the whole um,
Okay. Okay, so, um, let's not go that way. Because he can one-shot me. I guess those are the big scary dragons that they told me about in, in the game. It looks like fleeing also doesn't cost anything. Like, it, like it's instant. Oh, boo. Yeah, it looks like there's a... Okay. I'm gonna have to go back round. Because now I'm curious. I mean, not what I say about curiosity, but... That guy seems really tough. I might have to uh, come back to him. So, if anything I've learned about playing this game is uh, check the map regularly so you know where you're bloody going. So I don't get lost as much. Yes, it's annoying me flickering to the map screen every time, but I feel it's better that than me getting lost consistently and constantly. No, oh, that that's... Oh, God. Two of them? Okay. I can hardly deal with one of them, let alone two. And those guys are blocking off that other entrance. So let's, um, let's go the way we're supposed to go then, shall we? I've been told by the game. Um, not to go that way, so let, let's not. You know what? I've saved it in a bit. Let, let's save it. Uh, I feel coming across those enemies is like, hey, maybe you should save the game. <laughs> Mainly mean, because I don't want to do all that again. And I don't know what happens on a game over. Like, does a game over, like, reload your save? Or do, will it be like, hey, do you want to try a game from the previous screen? Or whatever. Just in case it doesn't, I probably should save more regularly than I have been doing. Tormund. This is Tormund. Okay. Why is it evil music? Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Why is it obvious music? This, so, this is your home time, Tormund. Yes, the meal cup will turn where the rain never ends. Ah. It's like, it's like Bermisia. It's kind of, it kind of gives me Bermisia vibes. The music, actually, now that, now that we're in, now that I remember that this place is called that. Well, I know it's dead sometimes, but the days are few and far between. The city is so gloomy. I guess we'll take a go, go to a bar and get a drink. Or have a hot bath. Hey, come with me fast. Prince Frederick is ready to give a speech in front of the palace. I bet it's about the rumours. A speech? Let's go there as well. Do you think the rumours are true? Apparently an airship returned from foreign sport with an injured general. I heard something about assassination. Do you think a Scania planned to betray the treaty? I like this section of the song. Um, We've been waiting for an almost an hour now. Should we head straight to the palace? Now that you've said that, here they come. Um, hmm. Look at how many people came, the spice dweller. Can't wait to hear their faces when they hear the terrible news. I should put down and get a better look. Keep your emotions at bay, Lady Elena. Remember your position. Yeah, <laughs> strict as always, my dear General Gustin. Same goes for you. You don't want to get the wrong idea seeing you laughing in the face of such terrible news. Alright, alright, General Killjoy. Besides, I think most of them have already heard the rumours. They truly spread fast. Have you finished your small talk? Oh! That's the Grimoire. Or that's a Grimoire. Oh, my prince! Let me have a word now. So this is a torment. I come before you with important news. News that weighs heavily upon my heart. I ask of you. For how many years have watched our families and friends be murdered? For how many generations have our homeland been plundered and ravaged? While our enemies are being fed by foreigners, we have to endure hunger and suffering. We know not share of land as with Scania and Gravos, but it's not the same blood that flows through our veins. A year ago, the tide turned, we conquered Wernshire with Gravo and defeated Gravos. Because we all worked together, because we did not give up. But Gravis and its devious ways did not endure this and not only killed hundreds of Tarn soldiers in the explosion, but also sacrificed its own people. Is this what passes as honour in Vlandis? The Scania's ideas of ethics and morals is no less devious, which is why the, the decision to sign a peace treaty once one year ago was difficult for me. But I did not want any more of our soldiers to die. I did not want any of our citizens to starve any longer. What's this music? To this day, I am firmly convinced that it is the right decision. But today, a word from Farnsworth has reached us. A Chancellor and soldiers have been murdered. During the peace ceremony, troops from Escania executed the Chancellor Edgar and some of our brave soldiers. Only General Maffei could escape and bring us the word. Oh, snap. So, the rumors are true after all. Can we accept this? No! I have no choice but to take up arms again. The war that I want to avoid at all costs will continue. For this, I need your support, people of Tarn. I'm going to promise you one thing, though. You will not experience famine or misery anymore, because this war will be ended quickly. With the annexation of Wernshire, we acquired the weapons that devastated the area a year ago. Great. They have the Grim War. You hear correctly, the most powerful weapon in the world is now in our possession! Behold the Grim Grimoire! Great. Fucking great. This is the weapon that can destroy an entire city? Terrifying, but it looks so harmless. If it belongs to us, then nobody will mess with us anymore. There is Killian. That's the same stone. Yes, that is the Grim Grimoire that the Storm Wordshire. But contrary to the Prince's words, it was not used by Grabos back then. It's always been Tarn's possession. What? 
How do you know that? Ain't you tell me about eating near that stone? I know about it, but I don't have any more restroom than you do. Sorry, Glenn. Uh, with this weapon, we can destroy the entire armada with one blow and bring this war to an early end. Rest assured, people of Tarn, this war will end soon and we will be the victors. Why does this prince show the grim war in public? Like can people be ill-shared? I'm sure rumors will probably em intimidate at the Emily's. I, I, let's hurry to the palace. I will speak with him. Hoppy is a miserable liar. Sir Victor, I bring the grim war. Sorry I didn't mention it earlier. The grand grim war is one of the reasons I am in Blandus. I'll make a lot to you. There's someone I need you to meet. But first, let's escort the princess safely to the palace. Mm. Is he gonna... Mm, he's not gonna tell Sir Victor, is he? Or is he? Well, these guard dudes! The size of them! Dear sister, thanks be defeat, you're well! Words can't describe how relieved I am! At last, all these sleepless nights are over. Please tell me, where have you been? I'm sorry, Frederick, it is not my intention to cause you grief. I should be angry, but you're back with me. I just can't. Your companions have my deepest gratitude. For any other day, I would have arranged a big banquet for your return, but with the war ahead, we will set an example for, to the citizens. Do not worry, I've had enough of banquets anyway. Frederick, I have an important matter to discuss with you. As president of the banquet of Farts for us, Paul, what happened there? It is not the soldiers from Escania who attacked our men, it was a wild demon. You're not telling us anything new, yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Sir Mafe told us about it. This report leading was very detailed. General Maffei, why don't you tell it yourself? Maffei. Very well. As the princess explained, there was an attack at the banquet by a demon. Even the strongest be beast had no chance in the presence of the best knight of knights of Blandus. The monster was politically put down, but the real monster appeared only afterwards. Escania served its true colours. Chancellor Sigurd and uh, had our men and Chancellor Edgar assassinated it in the chaos of the attack. CHAOS! Our men were, were killed by the swords of Escania. I'm sure they would have blamed the demon. But I was able to escape and carry the truth to you, my prince. This is a lie! How can you be so sure that I'm lying with all the confusion that was going on there? Hold your tongue, wretched traitor. Do not trust him. I saw you with my own eyes. He gave the robbers the order to kill Lily Pornella. And that is not the end of it, Lord Brother. After the banquet, I heard home through Tortara. You know who said them my way? This man. He even tried to kill me. Well, dear sake, that is not true. Why do you say that? Mercy claim I am lying about the banquet and now you're trying to slander me? Prince, do not listen to her. She seems confused. You've been a long way, long time, Celestia. Let us talk later. It's best we go to room now and freshen up. Your companions are by the best rooms in time. I reward them generously tomorrow. Super sauce! Super sauce! Super sauce! Super sauce! Frederick, this is not the time, right time for you to take care of my well being. This war is based on a lie! I see your point, and I promise you we'll talk more about it tonight. But now, please get some rest. Uh. <sighs> please do not ask me to do this again, Prince. Break my heart to lie to the princess. And I break hers if she needs it. Her brother is very well that Sir Maffei took care of the Chancellor. Your truth is more useful to us than my sisters. You perform a role surprisingly well, General Maffei. Of course he fucking knows! Thank you, my prince. Want to pick my sister here is a real liar. If not for the fact she's the most honest person in Blandus. I agree. Mathe, sit forward. Prince, remove your armor. My armor? Are my words unclear? I, I don't understand. As you said, my sister is the most honest person in Blandus. One of my sister's claims a demon invaded the banquet it is exactly what happened, right? Yes, as we already know. If my sister tells of a group of dwarves that are singing an ode to the moon at the top of this tower, then there is a group of dwarves standing on top of this very tower, giving away the most beautiful ode to the moon. Prince. 
I remember my sister claims that you tried to kill her. You actually did try. Wait, please! She just said that to discredit my statements. So my sister is a liar after all? No! I mean, in this case... Prince! Luck seems to be on your side today, General. Normally I'd have to hand this at your throat. But since your statement is the foundation for this war, our people would be skeptical if I had to explain that you were executed after your return. I I'm sorry, please. I meant no harm to Tarn. But the people will certainly not be skeptical when I tell them, General, my fate came back from this bloody banquet with only one arm and one eye. No! Ah! Well, that's what you get! For betraying the princess, and now you've got an arm and an eye missing. But, Prince, the other guy, seems super sauce. And is super sauce, and it's probably evil, big evil person. <clears throat> Sir Victor said he'll bring someone who can tell me more about the Grim War. It's been an hour already. Sienna and Kelly and went into the city. Robin then said at the castle. Too nervous to be here. Maybe we should take a look around the city as well. This is really here is really interesting music. There's nothing better than sitting here reading a book and drinking a, cut, drink a cup of hot tea while the rain falls against the window. That's a mood, except for the book part. Because I don't read very much. Ooh, second war. We can get another class emblem thingy. It says Canyons like to party, but when it comes to drinking, um, nobody can beat us. Pick up onions with lots of sugar. The onion liqueur is the hit and turn. Please tell me that's not a real thing in real life. Another shot of onion liqueur. liqueur. Please don't tell me that's a thing in real life. Please do not tell me that. Because that sounds horrible. The constant rainfall in the dark atmosphere takes its toll on our spirits. Maybe Tromar are considered partic particularly melancholic. I love the atmosphere of this music. This, like, at first I think this is an interesting piece of music. Now, now I'm like, this is a really... Just atmospheric... Peace. I like it. Due to the heavy rain, the people of Tormund decided to tilt, build an entire city on the ground. Yeah, but you just buy materials. The square shares of money were an immediate risk cost of food. <laughs> Why is that a mood? Started building this underground city before the war. Which means they've started over 150 years ago. They didn't stop though, never picked it back up. Wars blow are unfinished and blocked. Sometimes I wonder where the deeper it goes. Oh wow, yeah. Some tea, or maybe some coffee. Perhaps you're not use the toilet, or maybe you're sleeping in my bed. Huh? No? Then why'd you barge to my house on a violet, huh? Get lost, you impudent vermin! <laughs> wow, 
called out for doing the typical RPG thing of going into people's houses. <laughs> Absolutely called the heck out. <laughs> I do love it when games do that. Because I just find it hilarious. I don't know why. Okay, so it seems that, yeah. So robes provide the most TP, most mine, but lowest defense. Light armor is sort of. I mean, I, I like the TP boost because TP is really important. Even get the meat and the scan. You've had enough of this everlasting war. The ground war more crush them all. Hmm. Must be trying to balance out the hall during wartime. We're supposed to concentrate more on killing than drinking, and it worked, except for the fact that people were killing themselves instead of the enemy. Ah, uh, man, I could sure go for a burger. That's mid. I want a burger now. People are complaining that the prices after a war was announced. <laughs> so as to make the prices, it's the demand. Uh huh. Yeah, so I'm just meant to explore the city, I see. Killian. What's Killian doing there? Oh, it's you, Glenn. Does Refector return? Not yet. What are you doing here? Take in the scenery where we has stopped. Still can't believe it. Grand Wormmore is right under our noses. Uh, and? What do you mean, and? That's the reason we're here. What does it know more about it? Who placed it in Wordshire back then? And above all, why? What then? I'm sorry, what do you mean? What do you plan to do with this knowledge? What's this about? You don't know, do you? I know what you want. You want the silver yourself. You want to change this world. Having such a weapon would be helpful. Mmm. 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 Sus? Even though you know what it's capable of? Uh. Do you find it despicable? The Glimmer kills people! The sword here does the same, and yet we wield it every day for our cause. Mm. You, you can wield the sword and choose your target. See, Grimoire obliterates everything. Mm. This, this is a tough one. This is a tough one, but I think I'm on the Glen side here. 
Don't get me wrong. Every human life is precious to me, but just look back. We're walking in a mountain built of corpses. The blood of many is on our hands. The blood of people who are ready to die for their cause. We need not kill the innocent. If possible, I would not want to use the grim more. It is more useful than a scare type than a weapon anyway. Enemies will throw their weapons at the mere sign of the name. Remember how our enemies feared the band of the Iron Bull? Do you know the reason why I wanted to change this world? No. I come from a merchant family. We were quite wealthy. But since dealing with money is frowned upon where I come from, we're not very influential. We had a big house, servants, always clean clothes, and enough food. It does not protect us from the world outside. Nothing does. My hunger sister went out riding one day, and the horse went wild. It raced through half the city until it finally stumbled in the harbour district, fell to the ground, and broke its leg. My sister sought help in an area that even in broad deadlight was visited only by scoundrels. Weak and completely on her own, she could not defend herself when they came for her. Does... Okay. That is... I... Mm, dozens of men threw themselves on her one after the other. That does mean what I think it means, doesn't it? Killian. Our butler found her in the gutters got her hours there. She had fallen into a coma. I saw Ingrid that I rode into the harbour the same evening and looked for culprits. Where was I supposed to find? Half the neighbourhood had taken advantage of her. I'm sorry to hear that. I've seen her for years, but from letters from my parents to her, I know she's still, she is still sleeping. Glenn. As a very liberal person whose who the greatest role model was Alfred of the Ban of the White Dragon. Man who achieved fame with his mercenaries and one point was as powerful as the armies of the greatest kingdoms. Since he came from the common folks, he tried to abolish the royal houses and establish democracy. And I wanted to be like him, and after the incident with my sister, even more so. I could not have felt anger for the common rabble, but I did not. I didn't want to fight the lower class, but rather the causes that made them this way. I set myself the goal that if my sister ever woke up from her coma, she would look into a new world. A better world that I created with my own hands, and for that I must make use of the different means. Like the ground grim more. Like the ground grim more. The first thing your your sister will see when she wakes up is not the beautiful world you have created, but the monster her brother has become. Don't worry, I'll never get that stone anyway. These are just empty words, Glenn. But what happens if you do get the stone? There is a chance, right? And then what are those empty words? Those empty words become effectively reality. Mmm. I get it. I get it. That That's a tough situation. Like, Jesus Christ. But still. It's, mmm. Do you destroy the world just because one person, or like, effectively a band of people? Mmm. Or, or a city, effectively. The fresh air will do you good, father. But now tell me, why did you leave the castle? Where have you been all this time? The walls of this palace were suffocating. I am a princess, not a nun. I set out to look beyond these walls to see what we've been fighting for all these years. Then what did you find? Are you really interested in it? I thought you didn't care for this war. You betray me as a bloodthirsty warlord, which I am not. Besides, you shouldn't talk to this in front of father. Then go see for yourself what lies over the walls, what people talk about, what they wish for and hope for. Hmm. You know that I told the truth about the banquet, don't you? Of course I believe you that you have seen the demon, but you certainly couldn't have noticed everything. I ask again, you know I was telling the truth. And you accept the lie. I accept what Tarn needs most. It'll be over quickly. I guess it will. Mmm, he's in the ground, we're mortal. We'll give him a few more weeks. It's good that you came back. He can't show up, but I'm sure Father is happy that you're back with us. Father. His hands are so rough. His hands. I remember them tall, yet gentle, loving hands that lift me up to the sky as a little girl. They're so rough now, like the hands of a knight swinging his sword. But they've already always happened. 
His hands held the sword more often than his daughter, after all. Oof. 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 <sighs> These lines! This dialogue, man! I think I'm so tired. It's also affected returns. What are Lana's feeling? This day has been hard on her. Can you pay her a visit? That is, if they let me into the castle. State your business? You have none? Then leave me alone. I have business you can probably see. Sorry. Just doing the RPG protagonist thing of going into people's houses randomly. It's fine, trademark. Merchant has tried to travel from Merchant and then go far fields of Perpetua. That's right, that's why I arrived. Poison, blind, mute, and half paralyzed. I'll find the gods once you carry enough remedies. Is that a hint game? To where we're going? Charm of the Learner. Sometimes it gets two times additional SP into characters' pull. Ooh! Oh, that's good! That's really good. Yeah, it's just this music. Uh, this game's really good. It's, it's been really good. <clears throat> We're grateful that it brought her out on its back. Mr. Frederick has been itself since you vanished. Oh, God, oh, the size of this place. You're the guy who turned your house, right? So you're allowed to visit her, but this area is off limits, you understand? And I assume that's the wrong way. No, no, the princess is back. I'm gonna make an extra effort to keep past in good shape. London's greatest pride of the major academy and you sir. Even today people speak about with fervor. Before that, Vlandis was an isolated place with only a few mining villages. The reason why the founders of Nyesa choose such a rather location to open the greatest academy of all time is still a mystery. Perhaps the students who were not supposed to be too distracted by other things? Who knows? A lot of books! So many books! Scientifically and technologically speaking, Vlandis lags so true behind the neighboring countries. All the resources spent on the war, well I think at least the war machinery will be up to date. Fiddlesticks! After 150 years of war, the coin master was happy to find enough money to pay the soldiers and keep the old machines running. Recently, however, we received a few more modern machines. I wonder what, the Fred what deal Prince Frederick has struck and with whom. Mm. The soldiers were in his hand is called the Grand Grimoire, the weapon of the gods. Which gods they mean? The old ones, the church ones god, the great gods, or even the seven true kings. At least for the seven true kings, the existence is scientifically proven, as knew the old dragon is sleeping on this very continent. Oh boy, I hope we don't have to fight that. We probably do. Because it's an RPG and you fight gods in RPGs, generally speaking. The princess is a sweetheart. She's a sympathetic ear for everyone. Oh, look, you dropped all the good dishes. The fact that you've returned 
Just because you've returned to equity have the you kids gloves. You make up for all the work you missed, you understand? Uh, answer me, what kind of behavior is this? I hope you remember your status. Here at Court Barrow's Manager King, you come with no right uh, no more rights than the common servant. Yes, I am sorry. Oh snap, Rob is getting Rob has been pegged down. Are you okay, Rob? What are you staring at? Be gone. Watch your tongue. He is the princess's guest. Apologize. Uh, sorry. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Okay. Rob's been taken down a few pegs. Mmm. He's not used to that. Oh, this is the princess's room. Oops. Oh. Who goes? Ah. What are you doing here? Is it about the reward? My brother will take care of it tomorrow. No, I'm just here to visit you and see how you're doing. You are? This is... This is kind of you. Thank you. She's an artist. I had no idea she's so interested in art. I'm so talented too. It's nothing but a pointless pastime. They all show the same motif. A huge tree on a flying island. What is this place? A place that I have to go to. That you have to go to? It might sound silly, but it follows me in my dreams. It appears in my mind's eye and wants me to visit it. I don't know where it is, though. I see it in memories that are not mine. I try to capture it on paper to get an answer, but it doesn't seem to work. Your echo, then. My echo? Remember how divers believe this that after death the soul leaves the body and dissolves into the maelstrom? My mother once told me, sometimes the soul does completely dissolve. If these remnants flow into a new living being, it's possible that one keeps memories of the previous life. You mean to tell me that this place of the paintings is an echo of my previous life? Maybe. This place could have been your home. Wonder if I had a better life then. I know I shouldn't complain. People are suffering all over the realm. And here I am protected from all that. But still, I'm so unhappy. I think we're still ashamed. I think everyone has their own problems to deal with. I don't think you can weigh that. I wish I wasn't born a princess. Tell me, Glenn. Why your room here feels much tighter than anywhere else? Her eyes are so cold when she talks to me, yet with him. Boy seems pretty close to the princess. You do not look pleased. Oh, what's that? Sir Gawain. He is one of their companions. Interesting boy, I must say. He's the only one who didn't want gold as a reward. What then? Information about the Grand Grimoire. Who voluntarily for gold reward and gold? Is he a spy? Or rather, should have minded one. When he asked us directly to her faces about the Grim War. We should take care of him, but not in the princess's presence. While you're at it, deal with the whole troop. Do you command? General Godfrey's returned, by the way. Very good. Such a procedure immediately. I will. After the general has sort of brought up. Do not wait too long. We must give this Ganya too much time. Uh yep. He's just gonna take care of us all because he doesn't give a fuck. Why do I have to read this line? I can do about curves, they are unnecessary. Oh come on, they're the most deadly weapons of all. Oh, what are we talking about? Are we talking about what I think we're talking about? Cause I'm a, I'm that, um, uh, that depends on when you use them. Where? What does that have to do with anything? Well, your katana with the curved blade is suitable for slash attacks cause it causes deep cut. Not suitable for first attacks. Oh, okay, we're talking about weapons. Okay, okay, good. I thought we were talking about something very, very different. However, if every soldier in Vlandis is running around in heavy armor, a thrust is more effective than a slash, making the grip sword superior to the katana. In Vlandis, for all I care, still live in the past. The armor is on the retreat. 
You think that justifiably wearing such armor nowadays is a sky armor? And believe me, me, you do not want to be a Sam with a great sword. I saw him! Sir Victor's coming! I don't want you like that. Your kid waiting for his presence, Glenn! Well, I do hope he brings a reward. I'm already getting grey hair. Where? Since Frederick said he'll be giving it, we'll be giving it tomorrow. Sir Victor! Shee shee shee, there you all are! What the heck is this thing? Um, this is supposed to be the best in the town. You got screwed. The old tits like a piss. <laughs> okay, I like this guy immediately. Barkeeper, I'm for real. Oh, chug, 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 chug. Pah, disgusting. This blood water aroma. One more. No wait. Bring me free right now. It's gonna die like water. Who's this guy? A good friend, and the real reason I'm in blood is, this is Cameron, a scientist at the court of Tarn. And this one here is Beltraz, a friend of mine who's helped you out with more dangerous stuff. Beltraz, of course you're fucking here. It's you! What are you doing here? Oh, you know each other? Looks like you made it determined. We're surprised. We? The girl was tormented anyway. Why don't you come with me to the end, huh? You do remember that we're working for money. If you can't pay us, why should we act as your bodyguards? Well, you can think of. Oh, you're in deep so pockets, Sir Victor. Like the end is any different. Anyway, you won't come with me free for Landis. Let me focus on the main topic. Of course. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this before, but the real reason I'm in Blandus is a grand room war. I'm here telling you this because we need your help. Victor, you're sure this is a good idea? Sure, they might be experienced fighters, but you can find others in the Adventurers Guild. I trust them. Doesn't mean we have to explain everything to them. We need their muscles, not their brains. Cameron, what's all this about? I explained it to you earlier, and you agreed to it. Now, I don't give this a suspense. Alright, alright. I'll take time to answer your questions, at least while these cups are still full. Cameron is responsible for Grand Grimoire. Has been studying it for several years. Nasty thing. Contains other secrets and has tremendous destructive power. You seem what it's capable of, which is why Cameron and I want to destroy it. You want to destroy the Grimoire? The Grand Grimoire is the weapon of the gods. No man should ever hold it in their hands. We must destroy it before more lives are lost. I, I will help you. Glenn, wait for their explanation first. I keep your voices low. If anyone finds out about this, we'll be hanging from the gallows. So, what do you want us to know about? What well, exactly is the Grand Grimoire? It's a more powerful version of an ordinary Grimoire. These gems are able to store and release energy. They can be found in old geological layers, generally formed in places for higher ether deposits. The largest Grimoire found in nature is as big as a thumb. However, the Grand Grimoire is the size of a fist. We do not believe that it was created naturally. Someone created it. We do not know, but a similar stone is mentioned in the history of the fifth epoch. The gods used it as a weapon to destroy entire regions that they initiate the apocalypse. Luckily, they refrained from doing so, so that we humans still alive are in the seventh e epoch. Exactly. But we're not here for history lessons. Do you have any further questions? Where did the stone come from? In old texts of the fifth epoch, it's previously referred to as the weapon of the gods, but then it is no longer mentioned. Until about five years ago, the stone laid in Tarn's treasure chamber. There it was kept as a mere piece of jewellery until Gawain discovered its potential. Gawain? He is also in the throne room, a man with red, white hair and different coloured eyes. Gawain is the prince's advisor and a colleague of Cameron. He is also an old acquaintance of mine. We both studied in Yossa. So this man is an R. Unfortunately, he does not share Cameron's concern for the stone's power. He's trying to use it for this war as effectively as possible. Man, it's burned with the stone five years ago. Its power is frightening. I spoke out against its use, but the king and council are unanimously against me. And then, well, then that happened with Warnshire. Why was the stone there? Tarn defeated Gravos and taken the city. The prince is crawling with their own soldiers. Honestly, I don't know why the prince kept it there what he intended to do with it. Now his stone is back in torment and will be used in the upcoming battle. This is certain? Yes, preparations are being made right now. Hmm. 
So how do we destroy it? This is the problem, we do not know. Ground Grimoire is used by smashing it. This triggers a tremendous explosion. Only in a radius of three meters around the stone, nothing happens in order to protect the user. Ah, so that's why we survived. That's why Killian and I survived the explosion. Afterwards, the gym reassembles itself and can be used again, which means you cannot destroy it in any normal way. Right, if that's all your questions. Now, it just so happens a few weeks ago I made a little progress and therefore Victor called to Flanders. Royal House keeps a list of all the gifts that are given to the king on various occasions. On such lists, I found actually the rainbow colored grimoire. A monk named Nal, Nal Kilber from the Kildred Monastery bought it as a gift more than 50 years ago. This monk is probably no longer alive, but the monastery still exists. And that's where you come in. It's time to go there, and we'll stay accompany you. Exactly. The monastery is located in the east and has been abandoned for decades. He said the monks are now monsters living there. We need some capable adventurers to protect us from them. All the while while you're searching for this information about the Grand Gormor and this Nal Nal Kilber. Yes. The information such as where did the stone come from and how did it come into the possession of this monk? Right, and find a way to destroy it. We'll help you. You do not need pass. Hey, 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 hey. Speak for yourself. The stone's not my concern. Quite my word. I ain't the hook of the finger. That reasoning sounds familiar. But why are you telling us all this? Don't you put yourself in danger by sharing such explosive information. Literally explosive. I do not understand this either. I have my reasons. I just can't name them. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. I still trust you now. I've you gained a new comrade in arms. Let me help you. Someone heard us! What was that? I swear I saw someone outside the window. Yep, we're fucked. Stop! You there at the table! What is it? Drop your weapons and surrender! You're under arrest! What? For what reason? You should know all uh, too well, spies. There must be a misunderstanding. Do you know who you're talking to? The gallows are weird! Move now! Let's have the fire way out. I finished my ELO, boy. It's fire, huh?
They're more excited. Why are they here? They couldn't have known about our meeting here. Those spies. Did they plan to ask for information about the Grimoire's award? Yes, but is that a problem? Only for far as far as protecting the information about a super weapon? Maybe that was not the smartest idea. You honestly asked about the stone? And oh, we're talking. Let's leave this place to the different monastery. We've not negotiated this payment yet. Stay here if you prefer. Regardless of free. Uh, Um, I'm actually going because you can um, target all words. Glenn can't, so I'm actually give you there. Stop right there, spies! I might need to heal. Oh, we're fine. Darn. You cannot escape! This is the end of the line! No. No, it isn't.
stop. A dead end. Bloody hell. Can't go on anyway. The struggle ends here. Let's buy you some time. Move on. Stop. Stop this immediately. I lost the voice lottery. Stare at us, or, or stare at us, or else. Princess? Leave them alone. They are my guests. Unfortunately, we cannot do that. We have orders from the general to arrest them. You dare put the word of a general above that of your princess? Uh. Be gone. I command you, base born knaves. Oh, snap. Let's go and report this to the general, or we'll be in trouble. She laid out the law. Len! Princess, my goodness, you have my gratitude. No need. Overheard your conversation, Ian. You have, Princess? Len, you must not misunderstand. I do not want to break trade tarm. It says that the Grand Grimoire is too dangerous. I know. You may continue to follow your plan, and I will not tell anyone about it. It's only one condition. What is that? You take more of me with you. Are you? I mean, that's impossible, princess. Then I cannot let you go. Why do you want to come? The world outside is calling for me. I don't want to stay here waiting for her brother to shatter Vlandis, shatter Vlandis into pieces. I'd rather stop them now to collect the shards of her broken kingdom later. For Vlandis and his people, I must act. The princess, as you already know, is a capable fighter who wields magic. Her rough skills and range will certainly be useful to us. I'd rather not involve the princess in a dangerous journey such as this. I know, but you do not have a choice. You are attacking me if you stay here. It is not a request, but a command from your princess. A snap. <laughs> That's certainly a new character tree I hear there. <laughs> Hi, fourth wall. How you doing over there? Are you broken yet? Alright, Len and Rob, we'll have it together. The monster is located in the northeast of the far fields of Perpetua. We are preparations to make a turbo which should proceed unobtrusively. It's possible that the soldiers will return. And let's move quickly. I've not seen such fire in your eyes for such a long time. I want to close the deal to Grimoire. My hands are trembling in excitement. What about you, Sienna? Yeah, yeah, I'm tagging along. Don't be wise to stay here. Also, I haven't got my rewards yet. Let's across the payment on our way out, Sir Victor. Of course, my dear Sienna. That's how I did it in. Let's leave the city and move through the northeast of the forest. Oh snap! We got Len and we got Rob. Pink that because I want to keep Victor in as much as possible because he's a healer. So. I feel this party works. I'm just going to give that to you. Ooh, reduces cost by skill of skills by 20%. That's good.
think mm, can't equip more than one accessory. Because I was gonna, yeah, I think you having that would be pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna try and find the weapon shop that I lost. I think it was up here. Yep. Is this a weapon shop? Yes. Did I not get a... I oh, did, I get a partisan. Let's sell things first. You went for me, good. More tech bar. Yeah, so her and Glenn have pretty good attack bar. And you've got 55, so you're also pretty good with attack bar. Yeah, so only you can equip clothes, so. So that means that raises mind by one, is it? For free defense? That might actually. Well, I'll, I'll lose five hit points. I think I'll buy that for um, the princess. Definitely not for... Yeah, so I'll lose 5 pit points, gain 1 magic defense, lose 2 defense. Hmm. Not entirely sure that's worth it, to be honest.
Yeah, if I, if I make the right choices here with this. Although, yeah, so you're losing two defense, two mind for five TP. Is that really worth it? For five? I don't think it is. Like five TP is nothing. I think. I think. Mm. Yeah, for him, it's... But then again, I always said TV is pretty important, but... Whether it's worth... Defenses... That's the question of whether it's actually worth it. For an extra, what, 5 TP? I mean... No, it isn't. Yeah. So I can get TP up with other things. I think I made the right choice here. Yeah, I think I think that's the right choice. Like, cause it's only 5 TP, it's not, you know, 5 TP is not a lot. That's good, yeah, I'll go for that next then.
Oh, it's only one? Yeah, like I get like TP from that, and also like from like getting skills and stuff. It's I think I think it's better for having defenses rather than TP. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I suppose I can't go back to the castle. Then I can try. Probably be a bad idea if I did it, but let's try it. Get a, that's the wrong way, proc. As I expect it, to be honest. I can't get over this this place's music though. This place is interesting. War is always the top priority everywhere in the world. I mean, which adventure did you fi fi first find its way to Torben? A common umbrella or sky armor? Shockingly, sky armor came before the umbrella. Hard to believe, isn't it? Somehow, yes, I don't believe. I, I actually believe that because it seems to be how this place actually works. Oh, we're here. Does this mean we have to go... I mean, it did say east. There must be a way Dying, I hear us. I wonder if now you can go to the camp. Yeah, there's a bridge and everything. Oh, crap.
from here I can go dying. What the heck is that? Um... I thought there was a bridge there, but can I activate it? Yeah, I'm not dumb. Oh, how could you run from a kingdom of fire so soon? Here you get wonder lost again and disappear, but right to see me when she arrived. Apparently, Sir Victor and his companions put strange ideas into the princess's head. Apparently. General Gaston! Prince. Bring Celestia back to me. Remove her courage from this world. Yes, sir. The fuck! What about him? Is General Godfrey accepting the power? Everything's working out. It's not clear that the Grand Grim War is rich in features. Does anyone else know about it? Cameron? Don't worry about him. He's simple of mind and does not even know a fraction of the secrets behind the stone. Keep up the good work. Are we doing a whole materia in person thing? And so everything is taking its course, my love. Very impressive. The weapon is ready and the only key is missing. The grave of Lady Arena will be open soon. Aren't you worried about that red haired boy? Well, Dr. Frickler is out of sight. I'll take care of him. Does he know who that boy is? Certainly. That's why he let himself be a company for him. Oh! Red. It's only a matter of time before his echo is awakened. Glenn? Are, is Glenn red haired? That boy is bright hair. Perpetua flower fields! I've heard a bunch about this place and how it's dangerous. We said, yeah, he does have red hair. Oh! I find it always has bright hair, I never even noticed his hair color. When he said we were traveling through some flower fields, so I certainly expected something different than the swamp. 
Oh, that's not like this. In my younger days, I took the girls here on dates. You can see thousands of flowers in every direction. Really? What happened? I'm not sure lies into here. Well, this area is spread by explosion here. Go to Grand Grimoire's re repercussive effect. Still reach this area. Grand Grimoire did this? Yes, yeah, the corrupt little flow of ether in this area. Every animal or plant here has mutated it. If I'm near, that's... Please, let's hurry. No. Let's go back because I missed a bridge and I was like, oh, let's go that way because I'm smart and I think that's the way to go. When it clearly wasn't. Yep, that was just for money, but it was worth it. I didn't even go to the Adventurer's Guild because I was like, oh, let's join the Adventurer's Guild, but I didn't know where it was, I didn't see it. I forgot about that. Um, so I'll try to look for that. Um, actually, that's a good stopping point, actually. Um, yeah, that's a good stopping point, actually, then. Um, because I forgot that that's a thing in Tormund, wasn't it? That I need to go there? Well, do this battle. Yeah, so I think I think um, I think I was meant to find the adventure skill, but I couldn't find it. So maybe I'm just bad.
come on. looking for somebody to raid in the meantime. Um, that was uh, kind of weird looking for sure. Yeah, because I didn't actually find the adventure skills, so... So it rains the tier under the gods, you pet is. It's not here? Stream of water turn is unremitting. You can use energy to run engines. They are not very high for a pattern. If I succumb to work, you'll start a production yet. I thought, it was, I thought they said it was in Tormund. Or did they say simply step into Tormund? Because I think that's what they also said. I don't actually fully remember. Some more over, I'll sell it by my own house. That's a spare. Oh. Hey, you can go this way. I don't know what that is, but I got a healing belt. I did say I was going to stop, and then I was like, oh, I find a new place, let's explore. Oh boy. Nope. That's a big bag of nope.
Yeah, my adventure guild looks inside you. Yeah, well, I'm trying to find the adventurer's guild. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh boy. It's definitely not the way to go. <sighs> Nor that way, because you're protecting the chest. Google it because um, I don't know. Now I want to go south and see what's down there. Ah, this game. <laughs> Every time I find a place to, or I want to go somewhere and then I find a new place to go and I'm like, I want to go there. Quickly go there. It's pretty lonely here. We're on the border today in our sanctum. No one dares to come here. Trespassing is punishable by death. Also, look out for fairies, they play tricks on humans. Great. Maybe I should stop? This is the problem, I find a new place to explore and I want to explore it. Said boat. There we go. Well. Right. Now, now I'm going to stop. <laughs> now I'm going to stop. Alright. This game's 
been really fun. I'm really enjoying this game. Dialogue's been really fun. Um, yeah. So, I'll be back on Friday. I'll be on well. And, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see who's on. Quickly the raid. Um... Um, we'll read Megan because she wasn't well yesterday, so we'll read Megan. Why is that caps? No, I think I read it Megan last time actually. I uh, think I did read Megan recently. Let's read Dipus because he's playing Star Ocean. Yeah.